is a <coughs> small example for income from other sources structure this carries for 6 marks and this question was appeared in the year 2015 for bcom students please uh, take a book and uh, write write this question right students uh, will let us discuss uh, this problem and let us try to solve this question this question was appeared in the examination for 2000 in the year 2015 for 6 marks mr prashant is a, a member of a legislative assembly that means he is an mla he has given the following particulars of his income for the financial year of previous year 2018 and 19 salary from government of karnataka 55000 rupees per month see i told you any remuneration received by mla mp is fully taxable at the head income from other sources daily allowances for attending sessions 70000 interest on fixed deposit with central bank of india 77000 gross rent from house property in bangalore 20000 per month dividend from maruti suzuki limited 6000 income from letting of higher plant and machinery 24000 per month dividend from sirsi cooperative society 4800 compute income from other sources now if we discuss about this uh, particular problem we need to draw rules for this uh, computation of income from other sources say what is the assessee name what is the residential status residential status of an assessee what is the assessment year what is the previous year we all know assessment year is 2019-20 and previous year is 2018 and 19 this should be your format in solving a question okay now let us uh, read first point see salary received salary from government of karnataka as a member of local legislative assembly he is receiving salary since mla is a representative of the public or citizens so it is taxable under the head income from other sources because no employer employee relationship so salary as an mla as a mla in la 55000 per month for 12 months it will be 6 lakhs 60000 rupees 6 lakhs 60000 rupees next is daily allowance daily allowance 70000 rupees is the daily allowance he was receiving see in case of mla if he receive any salary which is fully taxable under the head income from other sources but any allowances received by mla mp is fully exempted because it is allowances which are paid by government to the mla or mp in going to their constitution a constituency or the place where they have elected to attend the sessions and to attend the problems and grievances of the public so it is an allowance paid for him which is not for his personal purpose which is only for his official duties or public services the government is paying him therefore the daily allowances to an mla is fully exempt we write it here as a exempt see salary mla is taxable allowance to mla is exempt okay next is interest on fixed deposit from central bank of india see interest on fixed deposit from bank which is fully taxable 
77,000 rupees. Sir, what is this gross amount? See, the question is given gross. What is the meaning of gross? Gross is nothing but no tax is deducted from the source of income. So, he earned 77,000 rupees interest on the deposits. Okay, and full interest on deposits is given to this person. Okay, to Mr. Prashant in this problem. So, and no tax is deducted. If the tax is deducted, after deducting the taxes, such income is called as a net income. Okay, before deducting the income, a tax is gross income. After deducting the taxes, we call it as a gross income. I mean net income. So, therefore, please, if it is given gross income, directly you can write the amount. Okay, sir, what happens if uh, if interest on fixed deposits from Central Bank of India, 70,000 rupees is given or 90,000 rupees is given. Usually, if you earn any interest on fixed deposits or any deposits from a bank, bankers will direct 10% taxes and will be paid 90% of your income. Such times we have to do it. I will show you when the problem comes. Okay. Now, if uh, in the question is given gross full amount, you can write it there. Next is rent from house property in Bangalore. Will you write this? See, I will write here rent from house property. I write it here as exempted. Why it is? It, it is an income, right? Income from house property is an income for an individual. But which is not taxable under the head income from other sources, which is taxable under the head income from house property. So therefore, here we give exception. Okay. Next is dividend from Maruti Suzuki Limited. Dividend from Maruti Suzuki Limited. See, this is an Indian company. Any dividends received from an Indian company or a domestic company is fully exempted. So, it is exempted. Sir, so how can we say that this is a Maruti and Suzuki is there? Suzuki is not an Indian, right? But if you look at the word limited, only in India we call companies as a limited companies. Whether it may be a private limited or is a, a public limited, okay? We use company as a limited only in India, not in anywhere of the world. So therefore, if you find a limited or a company, you should understand that it is an Indian company, it is a domestic company. What the rule says is, provision says is, if you are received any dividend from Indian company or domestic company, which is fully tax, I mean fully exempted. If any dividends received from a foreign company, then it is fully taxable. If it is a foreign company, tax it. If it is an Indian company, exempt. That's it. Next, sir, income from letting of hire of Clanton. See, he is an ML MLA, right? And he is uh, occasionally letting out some plant and machinery for, he is hiring that plant and machinery for someone. So, and he receives some income. So, that is taxable under the head income from other sources. Income from letting plant and machinery and he is letted 24,000 rupees for one month for 12 months. Uh, 48 and uh, 84. 8,400 probably is uh, 2,88,000 rupees. 2,88,000. Next is dividend from Sissi Cooperative Society is 4,800. As I told you in the basic concepts, okay, in the basic concepts, any dividend from foreign company, any dividend from cooperative society which is fully taxable. So therefore, we write it here, dividend from cooperative society is fully taxable. The amount is 4,800. Okay? So that's all. Only 7 points we have. I have written all the 7 points here. And just uh, 
read the question and understand the provisions which I was explained in the previous video and you can solve it in no minutes. Okay? Now let us take the totals of this. A4 plus A12, 19, 1 carries, 9, 16, 22, 2, 10. This is called income from other source. Okay guys, so this is about 2015 question paper, question, okay, for 6 months. Hope all of you have understood.